Hello, welcome to Saber Outdoors. I, of course, am your wonderful host, Mark Alexander. And today, if you watched the Food City Fishing Challenge, you saw that we saw this fishing kit. We might have to pick this up as well for a future challenge. Can we catch anything on the Martin Classic Fly Tackle? I don't know. We might find out in a later video. Well, today, we're gonna test it. We're gonna see how it is. We're gonna see if it's great, if it's awful. Guys, if you like the content, subscribe. It helps me so much, it costs you nothing. And do all the other YouTube things. I'm not gonna bore you with this. But, uh, guys, let's get it out, out of the box. Is it easy? Can I just rip it off? No, they glued everything. Why? Are they concerned somebody's gonna steal this stuff? Because, uh, let me tell you, if they're gonna ste steal stuff, why would they steal something so big and bul bulky? I mean, you can't put any part of this without out work into your pocket, except for the lures, and most people don't know what to do with them. There's a basics video coming up, though. I'll show you what to do with them. So we're gonna take our uh, pocket knife, gently, gently, we're gonna go around, around this thing, try not to cut any really important structures. All right, that should be enough. Oh yeah, that's so okay. By the way, if you wonder what kind of knife I've got, this is an Openel, I believe number six or seven. Give it a look, look if you want, or let me know you want to see a full video on that. But guys, let's uh, let's get it out and look at it. We've got a oh Jesus, what's the matter here? Okay, got it out. Okay, so we've got a three-piece fly rod, which is about average. Okay, it's taped here. That's why it wouldn't come off. Give me my thing. I don't. This is just cardboard. Why do I need that? You're lucky I don't have a fire going. I'd burn you. Okay, got that down. So, usual three-piece fly rod. Let's see what the spec says on the thing. Made in China. Eight foot, five to six weight. Now, the more higher that number is, the heavier your rod is. So a 3.4 would be lighter than this, but a 7.8 would be heavier than this. And there's different applications for all these things, just like there is for a regular rod. Just like uh, you wouldn't fish an ultralight for catfish normally, but I might for YouTube. And normally you wouldn't use a catfish rod to go bluegill fishing. Although sometimes you need bait while you're catfishing and you do that. But we just shove it together, maybe, Finally, eventually, oh, that right there is solid fit. That's probably not gonna be a problem for me. I thought for a second I put it in crooked. I was like, no. But uh, you can see, like we're starting to rod here. Right there's, and it's that much more, more to the top. So this is a big rod. If you're gonna do this kind of technique, you want at least a seven foot rod rod eights about the usual for my area because my area is loaded down with five six weight rods cheap rods like this because you can like any other kind of fishing you can get into some really really expensive stuff what what's this okay so I've got a reel I have no clicker on let me see if my clicker will turn on when in doubt, knife out. Why is my clicker not on? Oh, this has a line already attached to it. They pre-tie your line to it, that's cool. Now, of course, I usually just use eight pound line, but you could, this has what's known as tippet on it. So, tippet is not, like regular eight pound line is eight pound the whole way through. Whereas tippet is tapered. It tapers down to the most finest of fine. And I looks like I have quite a lot of tippet actually. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised because I don't have to tie tippet for myself. So that's one side. That's the other side. 
again, piece of cardboard. We don't care about that. How much tippet did they give us? They gave us a bunch of tippet. Now, this is set up for left-handed reel. That's fine. That's not going to be a problem for me. Now, if you wanted to, you saw me take the reel off earlier. All you have to do is push this in and then lift it out. And you can actually see the inside of these reels are super simple. Super simple. One's one speed, one gear. It's not like even the little push button reels where you have like three to one. one. This is one to one. You're reeling just, you know, as fast as you reel is as fast as it's coming in. It's not like a bait caster or like the world's fastest reel where every single turn is 10 on the other. Let me see. Oh, there we are. Ah, the satisfaction. The satisfaction of that click. All right, guys. So, uh, We've got a few things still left in the package. We've got us a few baits. You can see our baits there. And we'll, go, we'll use these today in order to see if we can catch anything. And there's a booklet in here as well. And they sure didn't want it to fall out because it's, it's taped in just like a lot of other things. Classic fly fishing to get started. Now guys, I'm going to look this over because I'm never going to say that I'm so good at anything that I can't le learn something new, but this likely will not, not be something that I need on a daily basis. So I'll tell you what, if you want this, put down in the comments, I want this, and I'll give it to you. But guys, we're going to start sticking all this together, and uh, when you see me again, we will be fishing. All right, guys, we have made it to the pond. And guys, we have our tippet. Now, I cut probably about a foot off of this because it got down to like, or it looked like two pound line. I put it, I got about a foot up where the taper is not so extreme, but we've got our little white popper on. We're gonna, we're gonna undo some of our line and see if we can catch one. Always feels odd when you first start using a rig that you're not used to but guys the fish are already excited that was my first bite they kind of bit at the tail i'm hoping they'll get a little bit more aggressive we'll see if i catch one i'll bring it back oh that's a nice one that's a nice one I had to back up for that one i had to get him over the grass but uh guys that did not take us very long long we've got us a, a little one he's not as big as i thought he was when i first hooked him he hit that thing like a big one you've got big dreams big dreams there he is covered in grass but i sure do love him bye my guy all right that is number one and we've been here maybe maybe a minute I might not even edit that out, out, but I may too. You know, just can't ever tell. But, um, oops. Oh, did he get my popper? He got my popper, God bless. Well, another example of why we don't use tip it on this channel we use eight pound line because i don't have this issue very often with eight pound line so guys we are one popper down i'm gonna pull off another uh probably another foot pull off another foot of line so that maybe by some accident I get to keep my next lure because it's a real bummer when I lose lures like it is for anybody so guys we're gonna go to the woolly bugger the woolly bu bugger is still very fresh in my mind because as of filming that is the newest video out which gives you a clue clue as to when I'm filming this we're, of course, like I've said many times, in the dying days of summer. 
but it's still a little warm out they still up they still biting good all right guys we have got our woolly booger on on the line and ready to go so uh we're gonna have to watch it make sure that we uh we don't end up uh don't end up getting a fish with its with this plumb down its throat There's one. Oh, that's a nice one right there. He is down in them weeds, too. Please don't break. Please don't break. Oh, he he come off, but he didn't break. Uh, come on. I cannot catch a break for this video. That's a nice fish, too. I guess I should have backed up onto the bank, but I didn't. Oh, it's a tiny one. Let me get my line fixed up. That's a... Uh, there's fish number two. Man, after losing that big one, I was hopeful it was another big one. But, guys, a fish is a fish, and I'm glad to have one. Now, you give that back to me. Ooh, don't, don't run off. Right there he is. Maybe someday soon, we'll be able to catch his mama... I got a hold, hold of her. Probably won't get, catch her again, though. Guys, I think I'm going to give the uh, woolly bugger a rest. I'm going to put one of these other lures on, see what I can do with it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our lure changed, and we took a short break. We went to uh, this lure. Now, I don't know what this is supposed to be imitating, honestly. I'm sure some kind of fly of some variety. But we're going to give it a shot and see if we can get anything on it. I'm not going to do like a slam. Like I'm not purposely trying to catch fish on every lure. But I'm going to try and catch fish on most of them. Oh, there was one and it's tiny. I set the hook on it so hard it just flew into my lap. Alright guys. So that's a... Uh, that's a little little in down i think i'm gonna go dive into my stuff now because i think i've proved throw him behind my back um i think i have proved that you can take what you have in the kit and go fishing with it and catch fish because that's the third i think third fish and of course we lost that big one earlier on the woolly bugger that's proof positive you do not need anything but this kit to go fishing with but I think now that I've proved that, I am going to go grab me a white popper or something or other out of my box and see if maybe I can continue to catch fish. All right, guys, we are back. It is day two. Had a little life uh, kind of come up, so I had to cut my day short yesterday. But uh, we are back. We've got our whip here working and uh let me show you what we're working with because uh, i made a stop by the walls mart and look at there we have a floating spider to try our luck with guys spider has been a great lure for me in the past and i hope it will be again oh where was one that's bass it's bass it's bass Oh, please don't get off. I need you. You're down that old nasty cheese. All right, guys. <laughs> we put it right next to him, and he came up and destroyed that thing. Look. Look at it. It's gone, guys. It is way down his throat. I'm going to have to have some hemostats for him. Okay. There's our lure out. there he is he's not big but i'm sure glad to have him back he goes he was bleeding just a tiny bit now when they're bleeding you always get them back in the water fast as you can because their blood does not coagulate which means their blood does not clot on dry land it clots in the water because what a shock fish are used to living in water Oh, where was another little old bass? <laughs> I'm just going to hand line him in. 
Come here, baby. Them little old bass are staging up. Look at that again. He got it good. Yesterday was bluegill. Today is the day of bass, which this is only a little like aquarium bass. I need to get an aquarium and put one in it. But I've heard tell that it's awful, awful hard to keep one that way. All right, guys, we made it home. Guys, we got rained out yesterday. It's currently raining outside now, so that's why we're inside. But uh, we've got our fly rod here. And uh, let me tell you, it, it did okay. Now, I can say for this fly rod and for the baits that come with it, they work. There's nothing wrong wrong with them now uh, I did have one issue this middle section I didn't have it good and seated down in so I had it ended up twisting on me some so uh, if you get this set up make sure that these sections are good and seated down it into the into the section that they go in now as far as the reel the reel these reels are single speed reels. You really can't break them. You can't mess them up. Um, I've used this style of reel for a long time and uh, I've never known one to wear out because there's almost nothing to wear out. I mean, you can see if I take this off eventually, you can see even the rod's still wet. There's nothing inside to mess up like and there's nothing on the outside to mess up either you know as long the only reason that little gear looking parts there is to make that clicky noise which is very satisfying very satisfying now uh guys the bluegill they all came on on the lures that came on this rig the bass came on a little floating spider if you're a if you're a regular fly fisherman you might uh say well, why didn't you use this or that or the other guys i am i am th in this particular respect i am extremely functional extremely functional because fly fishing is something that uh, there is an entire world of things that you can learn learn about the lures the types the this the that the techniques the this the this the this the this this it, it's it's a world that you could get into and you could literally lose yourself in it's just like bass fishing only nowhere near as popular in my area we've used the rod the rod work works for the price of it it's a great great beginner setup to get you into the sport of fly fishing it comes with enough lures that you can catch fish you saw caught fit fish on them and uh guys this is a really fun thing to do if you are only bass fishing if you're only live bait fishing expand yourself make make an effort to do a kind of fishing that you've never done if not this year next year try fly fishing or go go uh, target a specific species because that's how we learn do we like this do we not like this is this a passion i want to get into is this something that i'm glad i only spent 35 dollars to try out and i'll get rid of it to somebody you'll never know if you don't try but uh that's all, all there is for it I'm just going to say the usual YouTube things like share, subscribe, comment, ring that bell notification. I'll say it twice. Please subscribe. It costs you nothing, and it helps me so very much. We'll see you somewhere in the woods or on the water.